Yeah. That's right, we ain't getting no omelet. Do no. We starving. You know what I mean? We are back. Don't worry about nothing. The things are coming more frequently. The content is going to be better. And you ain't got to worry about nothing. For our first episode, we're doing the best breakfast foods, man. To kick this off, that is my favorite time to eat. So why not come to the one place? Not only is it great English with muffins, but also I got to collab with them. Stay tuned. Make sure you guys leave a comment, like, subscribe, run us up. And let's go try these motherfucking muffins. Chef, tell them a little bit about your background. How did you start this establishment? Where do you come from? Tell them everything. Yeah, for sure. So life started as like a caterer, went as into a personal chef, got hooked up with Mariah Carey, mm -hmm. a few other names, you know, mm -hmm. and I was with them for like about five years and traveled the world. One day, I'm in Aspen, and I was asked to make like a breakfast sandwich. Dude, wherever I was, they sold out of bagels. And I see like muffins. I was like, dude, even better, you know? Toast's better, thinner, it's like sexier than dense bagels. You know what it is? A muffin in a plate looks way better than a fucking bagel on a plate. For sure. I totally feel that. Yeah, that has a hole in it and stuff like that. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Flat, nice, crisp. So and then you put like a bacon, egg, and cheese in there, and the crowd went wild. I was like, wait a second, let me try out some other stuff. That nigga said, you know? crowd. <laughs> And just started putting other stuff in there, experimenting, this, that. It could be anything. It could be, be well, between bagels and buns. Have done. I got one for you. It's expensive though. Wagyu English muffin. <laughs> With some spicy mustard on top, right? Oh, okay. Come Keep on. Talking, chef. Yeah. Keep talking, Come chef. on. Oh, dip it in some truffle aioli. Ooh. That's it. You, you know what you need to do? Mexicans love eggs with ham. You make an eggs with ham muffin? Dude, we used to have this one muffin that was called the Nomames. The Nomames? It was chorizo, eggs, pepper jack cheese, cilantro, hey! aioli. I love your mames. <laughs> no, that's not what that means. I love your mames. No, you love my mom. Your mames. <laughs> Cooking with somebody like Mariah Carey was something that you or like obviously she's an A-list celebrity, huge celebrity, somebody that like made a staple for themselves. What's like something that you learned while being in that scene that you brought onto your own restaurant? Amazing, like uh, patience, bro. There we go. You know, you actually have to build a lot of patience yeah, yeah. at that level where you're just like, you never know. You might be making something from heart, and then it's like, person's not in the mood for that. All of a sudden, you're gonna okay, you gotta make a switch. But you know, you can't get that get to you. You gotta build that yeah. thick skin. So it's like, does she ever sing? Why you just bringing the pool out and you just stopping your tracks? Is that all I want for Christmas? Oh my God, baby. is you? <laughs> was, was like somebody that you've worked with that surprised you? That was like, wow, oh, I would have never thought they liked this certain type of food. Well, there was a gentleman once I worked for who loved lamb chops, but he wanted it cut and shaped on the plate enough to just be like small bites, but the whole shape of the lamb chop had to stay the same. Yeah, he's a psycho. Who is that? I can't say. <laughs> <laughs> He's a psycho. Hey, R.Y.D., let's try your collab. So, here, we got the sandwich that's called what? Crip Muffin. The crib Muffin? It's a heat wave. That's what I told him. Oh, shit. The heat wave, man. The heat wave. I was on Postmates one day, and I was ordered a breakfast burrito, and I had pastrami in there. I was like, I ate it. I was like, man, the pastrami is fucking good. I don't think... A lot of fucking breakfast people put pastrami on that shit. You know what I'm saying? Companies and stuff too. So that stuck with me. And you know, S Dog brought me the chef. We just sat here and chopped it up. Was game planning the sandwich that we can make. And he was like, hey, what would you want to put in yours? I said, nigga, pastrami. <laughs> and he ended up getting the right pastrami. He sat there and went in the lab. He cooked it up. You know what I'm saying? We went down from the sauce to the pickles. And we tried three or four different types. And this is the finished product. I think that is fucking perfect. I love pastrami. If you love pastrami, come get that motherfucking heat wave. You know what I'm saying? By the time you see this shit, it might be on the menu for you. He ate these huge on pastrami and pickle juice. I am not. I just bet it. You guys seen I had to add some sauce? I'm not going to try without the sauce. I'm going to be honest with you. You got to be honest, bro. Okay. Man, yeah, couldn't toast it. Right? Man, it's too pickled off of me. You don't like the pickle? Mm -mm. All right. That's me, though. 
AD loves this shit though. AD loves this sandwich, by the way. Like, you can't go wrong with pastrami, nigga. Never. Who don't like pastrami? Mm. Wash it down with this new banana cold brew. Mmm. Yeah, I'll try it down. Banana cold brew. Cold you know how to make me shit shift? Oh, sorry, sorry about that. Wow. Ooh, that is that's good right there, Seth. That's, a, that's a winner. Okay, but what does it also taste like? Come on, come on. I know wait, you wait, 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 wait. Talking it? Nutmeg? Yeah, they got all this good stuff, but babies. Ah, that's how you win the people over right there. I ain't gonna lie, Chef. Look, just an idea. If you make this into an ice cream, I'm just saying you might have a super duper winner right there. <laughs> that was real good right there, Chef. That would be a good ice cream. Now, good ice cream, what? Whoa, you put that in the ice cream sandwich. In the middle. Ooh. Okay, what we got next? This is one of the most popular ones we have. It's the Americana with a hash brown inside. Here, I'm gonna drop some sauces on this. You fellas try it out. I'm gonna whip up the new one. As you guys right, let's get it. I like a little Cholula with mine, you know what I mean? You got to. You already know, Bobby. Can't go wrong. The hash brown. Ranch season. Yes. It ain't that regular, you know what I'm saying? Unseasoned, put that shit in the fucking air fryer. No. That was seasoning on the ranch with the hash brown. And that's like one of the most important things that Chef told us about. He was like, ranch is specially made. People love those shits. The ranch by itself is but fucking amazing. When it comes down to the muffin, I like the inside to be soft. You know what I'm saying? But that outside gotta have a little crunch to it and shit too. You know what I mean? Yeah, Let it know it's time. Good. You know, we gotta get the time on the perfect bacon, on the mm -hmm. perfect hash brown, perfect on the egg. You can also get your egg runny. It comes well done, yeah, standard. Yeah, well done. I like, I like the runniness, but I, I like runniness too, but right now they're well done as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, a standard, it comes well done. But you get a runny, if you're a yolk person, it goes in the bag, you get that dip. Okay, Chef, so this is what I'm talking about right here, Chef. All right. This is the new joint. So, this right here is the wait, new wait, stuff. Wait, don't tell me, Chef. It's that spicy tuna. Dog. Tuna is fucking unbeatable in any fucking circumstance, dog. We got the cold one. It's like a tuna salad sandwich. Amazing. And Already then we know. got the, the heat one. This is the hot one. It's like a tuna melt with bacon and a oh, dream man. sauce. You guys knew recently we opened till about two o'clock. Mm. Yeah. We were a breakfast joint, right? And then as we started make, doing collabs and as the world started opening up, people would come in and line out here till about three o'clock. They're like, dude, what the hell? Why'd you guys close? We wanted to get some coffee or some food. Mm. And then once we started to do some more collabs, we're doing a collab with the pastrami sandwich. And we're like, all right, cool. We can extend our hours. People are gonna, we're gonna open up our inside so people could come and actually chill, hang out. So we're like, you know what? Let's add another sandwich that's very classy. You can add an egg to that. You can add bacon to that and all that good stuff. So we're like, fuck it, tuna melt. The tuna melt? Tuna Let's melt. try it, bro. Cheers, brother. Mm. Better than the Americana. No, no yeah. Crowd, yeah. This guy going on the menu ASAP. Fries, this right here. This might be more than new flagships. <laughs> this is fire, chef. Hey. God damn. Better than the Americana. No way. Sure enough. That shit, spice too, is good. It's not like overbearing. It's cool. If you don't like spicy food, it's just enough just to give you a little kick in the ass real quick. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, that's like a little afternoon sandwich, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, if you want like in the morning, you don't want to have an egg or whatnot. This for lunch. This yeah. one of the ones you eat in front of a woman and she think that you like, you know, you healthy. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> like, she think, you know, you just, it's, I'm vegan, you know, try that. So you can't beat that, dog. Can't beat it. It's, know, like a, it's like a upgraded tuna sandwich your mom making. You know what's cool about this one? If you're not if you're if you're not finished with it, you can wrap it up, open it in an hour or two, and it's still gonna be cold. It's gonna take the same. Exactly. Just don't leave it in the car. Don't leave it in the car. I've done it. No, no, no. Yeah. Have you ever left the tuna sandwich in the car? Yep. Mommy, tell my fuck. Your whole car took that. That's not that again. Man, we starving. Shout out Ed's dumbass. Shout out Chef, man. We appreciate Thank you. you Chef, Chef, appreciate Chef. it, man. Of course. <laughs> and we off to the next place. Hey, man. Listen, this is one of my favorite spots. When I first moved to the valley. You know what I mean? I had a little thing where I was trying to sneak late night. You know what I mean? And I fell in love with this breakfast pizza 
but they got a lot of crazy stuff on the menu. It ain't just breakfast food. You feel me? And this nigga got a twin. Come here. This is twin Samer. This is twin Samir. That's what Samer they did. and Samir. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so it's funny because they did the one thing he's excited about the fact that they're twins. He's like, yeah, oh, they're I'm twins. Like, dope, bro. What's crazy, what's crazy about Crave? I've been one of the ones with Sherman Oaks since like 2017. Straight out of Puerto Loco, we used to always go eat at Crave Cafe. I but probably, I eat out it like in yeah. the mornings. I usually have it at night, so I guess we're gonna meet in the middle. My postmates be <laughs> we starving. Make sure you guys go leave we a starving. comment, a like, like comment, all that shit. We're gonna go crazy and let's get into the fucking food and show. And shout out to Trev behind the camera. Shout man. out Trev. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you something. First thing first, this this location is way bigger. It's way bigger. Oh, they got some. Where you at? Oh, come on, come on. Yeah, come on, come on. Yeah, come on. See, when you come to kitchens, there's always going to be Mexicans in the bag. And that's when the language comes in. Language. So, any, you need to translate to come, come, come get Wait, it. Wait, just teach me. Tell me okay. something. What do you want to tell them? Hello? Hola. Hola. Como estas? They're good. That's Hello. the area where we do the prepping and the dishes right, and right. stuff. How, How you doing, brother? Right. It's amazing back here, bro. It's big, spacious yeah, too. Space. When you work at a kitchen, you always need space because when it's small, it's a little rough. Why is the chips in here? Oh, it's for the cooks. It's for the cooks? Okay, my bad, my bad. <laughs> for the lunch. Hey, these stop hating on the cooks. Are you gonna get them in trouble? Niggas like potato, potato, potato chips, man. I, I was gonna ask for one, man. Damn. Yeah, yeah, man. Oh, it's always man. a good time back here. Yeah. Especially when you work at a kitchen. I mean, obviously you're working, but like, when the commodity is good, you can tell they all get along in this. It's big vibes, you feel me? They probably get a bunch of little cumbias in the back, and that's good, man. What are we about to eat today? What are we eating? I think we're doing the pizza, right? Should we ask? We're gonna, we're gonna do a couple of things, man. Breakfast, breakfast yeah. pizza for sure. Breakfast pizza. Turkey or bacon? Turkey bacon. Come on, man. Turkey bacon. Whatever he, I've never had it. It's amazing. For him. And then, and then, and then we're gonna need the a chorizo. chorizo burrito. Okay. Um, we need the Greek omelet or the Italian omelet. From all your omelets, which one's the most popular one? No, to be honest with you. Yeah. I don't care about omelets, man. That's right, we ain't getting no omelets. Do no. Okay, okay. For breakfast tacos? Yeah. Breakfast tacos, that's four. Okay, get breakfast tacos. We gotta get a waffle. How about the trio waffle? All right, bet. Let's do that. So, tacos, burrito, pizza, croissant, waffles. But listen, crepes is going with the crepes. You guys gotta oh, eat yeah. We gotta have some crepes in here, for sure. Yeah, have some crepes, for sure. Yeah. Eat, get you some crepes. How'd you guys come up with the name Crave Cafe? We, we took over the business 2016. Okay. So someone else started it. And how'd you guys think like, okay, this is a location that already has a name. How do we make it better? Quality, Quality of the, the food. food. 100 times better. Uh, make sure to be on top of it always. Cause you know, there's so many cooks that work at all locations. Yeah. So everyone's just gonna make it the way he wants or feel comfortable with. Yeah. So you have to make sure that each one of them know that that's the way we cook it, that's the way we serve it. I think I think one of the things that you guys are good at marketing, I've been to the one at Sherman Oaks, yeah. I told you guys, yeah. and you guys have a picture thing there. Yes. yes. But I remember always seeing like all types of celebrities will take a picture yes. in the baddies. Jamie Foxx. Yeah, Jamie, Jamie Foxx. I have it up. Yeah, so I think I think though, I think that's lit when you're there. So you never know who you run into right there. Yes. No, you exactly. You late never night, know who you're late night. Late, late night, night. night. it was crazy. Oh, you know what you're gonna run into late night. Yeah. For a fact. They Fun fact. Strippers. Yeah. Oh, there's a lot of them over there on the weekend. Yeah. So you, you know. Yeah, if you're trying to spend some money, plus some money, you know where to go. You might see your ex-girlfriend out there too. Ooh. Exactly, exactly. Literally. You might cry oh. if she's with somebody cry. else. Well, you get a breakfast, chorizo burrito, and strippers, doesn't get better than that, Pops. Yeah, and some good ass wings, some good ass ranch too. Love y'all ranch. Amazing. I'd be up to game on this shit. All right, man, here we go. This is, ooh. This is some good breakfast, man. Where should, we, where should we start? What do y'all think? Maybe, you, I mean, you've been craving the pizza. I've been craving. Maybe. No, I want that last. That's, that's my favorite. So let's see, you got the tacos, I believe. Yeah, let's, let's do the tacos. Yeah. Let's do the tacos. Let's do the Ready? Tacos. Cheers. Some breakfast. Cheers, man. Breakfast, breakfast taco, let's see. Amazing. Tardim. Hey, you ate with some avocado too, did uh -huh. The avocado didn't even bother me. You don't like? I usually don't mess with avocado, but oh, really? today, that's crazy, right? That's crazy. I love avocado on everything. It's just I crave it tastes different. That's why. But it's essential. 
but it's breakfast taco, yes. and I will eat it again. Maybe I don't dislike avocado. Crazy. Some people say that avocado doesn't have taste at all. Really? No, it doesn't, it definitely has a taste. I, so I think it has a taste too. I think it does have a taste. Yeah, but yeah. some people would say like it tastes like nothing. Yeah. And I'm like, what the fuck? I feel like it tastes like something, but. All right, what do you want to try next? You want to try a trap? Okay. Let's, let's get the trap cam. Mm. I like it because the eggs are fluffy. They're not runny or, yes. or too wet. Make the tortilla all soft. And Come on. A lot of structure in this taco Come on. right now. Come on now. All right, what's next? So this is a breakfast croissant, uh, turkey bacon, eggs, the green pesto, and olives. American cheese. American cheese. Cheers. <laughs> you know what it is? I'm not a fan of pesto. No, really? not a pesto. I, 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 I love pesto. Just me though. Yeah. I love yeah. pesto. Yeah. But without the pesto, everything else around it is amazing. I'm just not a fan of pesto. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, All the yeah. times I've had pesto, it's just never been for yeah. me. Yeah. With any food. But the the eggs are really good, Chevy, right? The eggs that I miss on the and eggs. And then too, another thing that I usually don't like is olives. Yeah. And the olives make this shit taste good. You like olives either? No. Hey, you're so picky. But y'all well, niggas know how to cook picky. this He's shit, man. Fuck. I'm super with picky everything. with it. He's so picky. Breakfast so so far. Breakfast tacos number one. Croissant number two. This is this is what I get usually get. And me, I'm just a little like. I like a gang of shit on my shit. I usually add fajitas to this. Extra avocado and sour cream. It got uh, chorizo, it got eggs, it got American cheese, avocado, French fries. Yes. You know there's French fries. French fries, fries yes. Wow. Yeah. I've had these before, so I already know. I know, it's your favorite. Let's <laughs> go. Some good chorizo. So maybe you guys change these life because he's always crying every time we do these food shows. Make sure you know avocado. Hey. I don't know, man. It's something about the way y'all make it. The it's salsa fire. with it. It's fire. Oops, sorry. This is fire. Oh, it's just yeah. it's just well yes. put together, yes. dog. Yes. And it's I'm a huge on local chorizo. This is what I grew up on. I'm Mexican. It's for, for, so for people to make it right, I'm, I'm like right. picky. So this tastes like how my mom's screaming at me, cleaning the house. This is in a rush. That's what it tastes like. Okay. It's time for my favorite. Dun, 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 dun. I've never had this. So. To me, this is this is if you, if you want to know why you should come to Crave Cafe, this is why you should come to Crave Cafe. And then some would say it looks plain. It does not look plain. This is a cheese pizza, right? But you have an egg on there with turkey bacon. You can eat this shit for breakfast. You feel me? Put some Parmesan cheese on there, a little bit of the crushed red peppers. And he ready to go. I can eat this any time of the day. This is like number one, my favorite food to eat in the valley. Number one, bro. Breakfast pizza. That's all the bread, dog. I, it takes me back to going to the studio late night. You feel me? Get a breakfast pizza. You know what I'm saying? Sitting in the studio eating the breakfast pizza. Also, this bring back memories when you were broke. Nigga, I wasn't that broke. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, but yeah. All right, let's uh, let's dig in. Yeah. Wait a minute. Yeah, Get a little bacon. bacon. Me, I need the egg with mine. My brothers, come on, man. I'm good. I'm good. All right. I'm on a diet right now. Cheers. I ain't on a damn diet. <laughs> oh, it's dripping it's egg yolk. Drip. I love it. Mm. Come on, man. Perfection. It's, I ain't gonna lie, this is crazy. I don't think egg and, and, and pizza should be in the same conversation, but turkey bacon, fire. Turkey so bacon is amazing. So do you think pineapple with pizza is better? I like pineapple pizza, but I like pineapple with pizza too. Really? Yeah, you don't like it? No. I don't know. No. The runny, the runny yolk on the pizza. Once it hits the turkey bacon, oh, yeah. you in heaven, man. Look at that. Back to the breakfast bread. Oh, Look, my boy, he's starving. This is eleven out of ten. You know what? One day, I'm gonna invite you guys over. We're gonna make you some habibi food. Ooh, let's with go. Lace and, with lace and food. Get it. All right, what do you want to try first? Now we on to some sweet shit, man. I've, I've had been, this. I've never had this. Okay, so we, we should go with the waffle. So, so we got the tuya waffle. Strawberry, banana, blueberries, syrup on the side and butter. And then we got the wait, wait, wait. three combo crepe, which is come with Nutella, powder sugar, strawberry, banana, and blueberries. All right, let's try this shit, AD. Nigga, get a fork. No, no bro, what? Well, yeah, it tastes better. Well, because usually we have our own plates. All right, fuck you know it, dude. God damn it. It tastes better. It tastes way better. Cheers. Ooh. Fire. Fire, soft ass waffle. This waffle got a BBL though. Got a little, <laughs> little bump in the back, you know what I'm saying? Did you say this waffle is soft? Mm -hmm. Does it mean that I need the honey pack or what? Ooh, honey pack for you. 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.